Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to give the land acknowledgement. McDowell's staff and board acknowledges that our residency program takes place in Wabanaki, the Dawn land, on the traditional unceded homelands of the Abenaki people and the Begontacook River. We also acknowledge that our New York office is located on Lenape land. We lament the devastation of centuries of warfare and colonialism and join voices within our field of artistic communities calling for a necessary illumination of the history and of investment in the future of the indigenous peoples of North America. We acknowledge the continued presence and sovereignty of indigenous communities and nations today and thank our indigenous colleagues and fellows for their goodwill in our ongoing efforts to collaborate in the challenges of decolonizing the arts. McDowell has begun our own work with efforts to understand the history of the indigenous people of our region through outreach to local and national indigenous communities and by evaluating and adjusting our residency programming to be safe and welcoming to all indigenous artists. Art is a powerful, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Art is a powerful tool for imagination, reckoning, and change. And McDowell is committed to offering a place for such art to be made. Fellows should be aware of the existence of native artists here and native peoples. Thank you to our McDowell staff and guests, and welcome to all of you to the awarding of the 62nd Edward McDowell Medal to the internationally renowned poet, Sonia Sanchez. <laughs> A year ago in Peterborough, we gathered cautiously, limitedly, to recognize the composer, songwriter, and musician, Roseanne Cash. Were any of you here then? Just a few. Yeah, we were squished up. We, no, we were stretched out. <laughs> we still had then, and still have now, COVID-19 on our minds, though gratefully we return to our regular programming to recognize with enormous pleasure the eloquent engaged and heartfelt poet Sonia Sanchez, this woman with razor blades between her teeth. <laughs> At any point in the last 50 years, I would have felt honored to open a program starring Sonia Sanchez, an inventor of new ways of writing, speaking, and singing poetry, for she has been speaking her truth, a truth rooted in black identity, self-awareness, and self-esteem. But at this moment in the summer of 2022, Sonia Sanchez speaks to all Americans in this frightening moment whose politics slam us back into the mid 20th century, into the years when the meanness of American apartheid penalized all of us who were not white not male, not straight. Speaking to black audiences early on and publishing in black and non-mainstream publishing houses, Sonia Sanchez taught us to speak truth to power and to love ourselves. She walks on freedom's legs and bids us follow in her path. Sonia Sanchez has blazed her path for more than 50 years a shining example of the 20th century artists I ask you to remember last year. Let me remind us all today in 2022 that Sonia Sanchez has much to teach us about life in hard times, 
about keeping in mind and fostering the better parts of American society. Now in the times when once again, our country can frighten us with its meanness. We have been in places like this before. And Sonia Sanchez, the real thing, who has remained true to her gifts, lights the way out and tells us how to grow our own freedom legs.